Hi, Tom Brownsword here, and today I'm going to show you how you can save a WSTATS file to a PDF document without including that annoying left frame. Let me show you what I mean. This is the AW Stats panel for one of my websites. And as you can see right here, it has this navigation frame. Now this is great when I'm actually on the website in the AW Stats program and I want to look at everything. It helps me move around very quickly to the various places within the AW Stats results. However, when I give this to my clients, it doesn't look quite so good. It kind, this frame here will kind of skew the PDF document. It doesn't serve any useful purpose, and it could cause confusion. So what I like to do is I like to get rid of this, which is not the easiest thing in the world, until you view this video and see how I do it. Now, the why, why do my clients like this? Well, first of all, they're my clients. They say they want it, and so I give it to them. For example, one of my clients happens to like to know the country that his traffic comes from. So, and everything is right here. This has about probably 10, 15 different countries. It shows the number of pages, hits, and everything else. He's interested in that. And so, if he wants it, I like to give it to him. And that's exactly what I do. So, to get started with this system, you just click anywhere here in the page. And then, you want to hit Control S or whatever the key sequence is to save files in your computer. Now, I'm using Google Chrome on a Windows 7 box, so it may be different on yours. Okay, now I've already opened up the directory where I want to save this. I like nice short file names. We're going to change that to the year and the month, and then just hit save as is. Now, there's one thing I forgot to show you. Let me go back here a moment. Before you hit control save, down here as save as type, make sure it says web page complete or whatever the equivalent is in your particular web browser. The reason why is because if you save it as HTML only, or if you save it as text or whatever else is available, or especially in Internet Explorer, if you save it as an MHT file, this will not work. It has to be web page complete when you go to save. So make sure that is selected before you hit the save button. Okay, now that we've saved the file, let's open up Windows Explorer, my computer, or whatever file system navigation software you use, and go to the directory where you saved the file. In this case, you'll see there's two files there. One of them is an HTM. That's the actual HTML document. And you also see 2013-06 underscore files. What that is is underscore files. That's all the extra files that are associated with the HTML document. And it's important that you um, do it that way. In other words, it's important that you saved it as a web page complete because you're going to use these files to get that report in the format you want. So go.